Well, this mayoral by-election campaign started with numerous opinions and promises about community safety and policing in the city. And to talk more about his observations and wish list from the next mayor of Toronto, we're joined live this morning by John Reed, president of the Toronto Police Association. John, thanks for coming in and talking about this this morning because, of course, so much of the campaign has been talking about public safety, whether it's on transit or just on the streets of, of Toronto in general here. You've kind of gone out and asked all the different candidates, especially the leading candidates, to sort of share with you their feelings and thoughts on what they would do with with Toronto Police. What have you heard back from sort of the leading candidates? And let's start with the polling frontrunner, Olivia Chow. What has her response been? So thank you very much for having me today, Nick. Um, so what had happened was we were very concerned as far as the platforms that were being put out by candidates. So we actually reached out to all the candidates personally and uh, asked them to provide uh, the information. Because our goal basically was to make sure we informed our members, but also the general public, on what uh, the plan was for the candidates. So uh, we put the uh, request out to seven candidates. We got them back six, and we didn't get anything back from the leading candidate, which was concerning to us. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's very important for the voters to understand that you know public safety right now here in Toronto is the number two issue of the polling we've done as an organization, and we continue to poll on a regular basis. When you start looking at the instance of the TTC, major crime indexes are up 24 uh, percent. Our 911 calls are up 20 percent. Right now in the GTA, there's a thousand people on gun-related bails. You know, so uh, public safety is a priority. So I think moving forward, I would ask uh, any of the voters out there, when they're going to the polls on Monday, go to our site, go to our social media feeds, mm -hmm. and have a look at the, uh, the candidates and see exactly what uh, they're proposing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And John, going back to Olivia Chow, we had her on our show yesterday answering our viewer questions, and she was asked specifically about safety in the police budget, whether she would cut from it. Uh, she didn't give a clear answer, but she kind of alluded to the fact that, uh, you know, if they hired more kind of mental health workers or people that could deal with issues uh, on the subway, not necessarily, she claimed that they were not necessarily crime related, but just people needing mental health support or people dealing with homelessness. Do you think that's a good answer in terms of you know what she's saying is that I'm not necessarily going to cut from I'm just going to hire more people to deal with other non-crime related issues. So I think one of the key pieces here and we'll acknowledge it we're not going to police our way out of this situation it needs a fully funded um, plan to move things along we have issues with homelessness mental health addiction and we need to make sure that the services will actually be supported through the police and I've been really trying to work with the narrative lately from the point of view of trying to change the this or that mentality mm -hmm. it's got to be this and that mm -hmm. that is uh, the way I believe we're going to be able to move things forward but we have to make sure we have a police service that's fully funded fully trained and equipped to do the job that the citizens of Toronto expect them to do. Right? They have to be able to react when a situation arises um, with the proper equipment and proper training. Now, I know TPA won't endorse a candidate because that goes against the Police Services Act, but of course we're in an interesting situation in Toronto this time around where Mark Saunders, the former Chief of Police, is running to be mayor. He sort of appears to be polling in second or third place, depending on what you watch for. How unique is that and how might that affect uh, the way you could you know, see things unfolding if, for example, a former Chief of Police becomes a mayor of a city? So we're going to be working with any uh, anyone who is actually uh, attains that position of mayor and we'll make sure that we work collaboratively with, with them and try and move things forward for the issues in public safety and make sure that we actually support our members but also the public. Mm -hmm. And John, uh, Mark Saunders has said if he's elected mayor he'll hire 400 additional police officers and a bylaw has said that she will look at bail reform. Uh, is there anything specific that you know the Toronto Police Association and its members view as like one of its top needs at this moment? So right now staffing. Staffing is a critical Critical point, uh, not only here in Ontario, in Toronto, but across Ontario, particularly here in Toronto. Our officers right now are going from call to call to call. Um, they are tired uh, and run down, and we ended up having to take resources from the community foot offices and actually put them onto the road to answer 911 calls, because having a 20-minute response time to 911 calls is not acceptable by anybody's standards, especially our members, but more importantly for the citizens of Toronto. How concerned are you that the police budget becomes such a focal point every year when budgeting does come? around in the city you know the budget it is a big budget a lot of that goes towards staff etc but then you have there are candidates who say you know we're going to slash the budget by 15 percent 50 percent etc what would that mean to the city of Toronto if the police budget were slashed so deeply if it was slashed that deeply it'd be chaos 
quite honestly, here in the city. We cannot um, kind of keep trying to cut the budget. The budget is being reduced um, you know, constructively by not increasing it. The city of Toronto keeps expanding over and over with the number of the populations up around, I think, 3.3 million in a few years. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure we have the policing that follows that path. So as the population increases, so should the police service and okay. the resources. Yeah, so you're saying a staffing's an issue you do need more police officers Absolutely out there. is, yes. Okay. Number one issue. President of the Toronto Police Association, John Reed, thanks for your time this morning. Appreciate you coming in. Thank you very much. Thank you, John.